Hello guys, in today's video I will show you how to use your Android device as your Raspberry Pi monitor. I am presuming that you know the process of installing the operating system. In this case I will be using Raspbian. First of all, you will have to install these three apps that I am going to show you. Open your Play Store, search for Network Scanner. This is the app that you will have to install. I have done it already. The second app is VNC Viewer. Install this app also and as I said earlier I have installed it previously. The third app is Mobile SSH. This app will use to communicate with the Raspberry Pi. Install these apps and exit from Play Store. Plug in your USB cable to the power adapter. Connect the micro USB port to the Pi power jack. Take a RJ45 cable aka a LAN cable and connect the Raspberry Pi to your router as I am showing here. Make sure your Android device is in the same network in which the Raspberry Pi is in. Open Network Scanner and it will start scanning the network by its own. Whenever you find this Raspberry Foundation name, stop the scanning process. Note down the IP address mentioned. It will be required later. Now close this network scanner, open mobile SSH, go to settings, type in the IP address that you have seen earlier, keep all those other things as it is, don't alter those things. Click on connect, wait for the connection to occur. When username is asked, type pi and send and the password will be raspberry this username and the passwords are the default one it is always a good practice to update and upgrade the system every time you log in but to save some time i am only doing the update When the update is complete, type in sudo space apt hyphen git space install space tight vnc server and send. This tight vnc server is the software to be installed. Now the software will be installed and it will take some 1 or 2 minutes of time. If it is asked yes or no, type y and send.
after the installation is completed type in vnc server and send then it will ask a password from you give a password as you want and send it will again ask for the same password to verify verify it then just send vnc server comment to the pi note down the desktop number in this case the desktop number is 2 we will need that number later on minimize this app but don't close it open vnc viewer type in the IP address and the desktop number with a colon in between them give the connection a name as you wish click on create then connect to that address If it is showing some security error or issue, just ignore those. Those are common things. Now type in the password that you have entered earlier. For me, it was 1234567 So type in that password and continue. And now it's done. Now you are at the monitor of your Raspberry Pi and you can control it from anywhere you want without touching the Pi at all. So this is how you can use your Android device to monitor your Raspberry Pi and it is very easy and simple way to do that. Now to disconnect the connection just click on that cross. Now go to mobile SSH app that you have minimized earlier and disconnect the connection also. Follow the same procedure every time and it hardly takes about 1 minute to do this and it is quite simple as you can see. So thanks for watching, hope to see you in our next video, till then goodbye and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Yeah.